So dare I say, this was my number two zip grail before uh, my friend JC got it for me. So happy that I got this on vinyl. It sounds better than the CD. Wow, love it. Song called Cowboy Suck. Which not all Cowboy Suck, but a lot of them around my area do. Not all of them. But the days are growing shorter.
you're going to hear this one, I don't know why. <laughs> but I threw this on. <laughs> I'm going to listen to this a lot, actually. Wasp, animal, serial killer. Love Wasp. One of my favorite bands ever, of course. And then, uh, this album, before Bruce Dickinson got there, it's really good. Before the storm, Samson. Love this album. Man, all those early, um, New Wave of British Heavy Metal stuff is so killer. Great album. Danger Zone, man. This is, this is great. Alright, Choose Me See! Up next, another record I got at BCLP from, from uh, JC from Flipside, man. It blows me away that I didn't know this band when they were out because I was totally into this stuff and I knew most of the bands. This is the front. This album kicks my ass. It is so killer. It's like if you take, uh, say you take The Cult, throw a little Danzig and a little bit of Alice Cooper, throw it in a blender and that's the sound kind of. So killer, man. The song uh, Pain, I know Jerry C loves that one, that is so good. Temples has a dancing quality, but a fire. Ritual is killer. The song is six with me the most, the motion. Oh man, so catchy. Love this. The bass and that, this is so good. If anyone sees this, buy it. Totally worth it. Great new discovery for me. I love it when I discover bands from back then, and back in the early 90s, late 80s, I didn't know. I knew most of them, but when I find one that's really good, it's just like a whole new thrill again, and I love it. So, so good. Hermano has three studio records and a live record, and uh, they're all great. This is my favorite, but they're all really good. Dave Angstrom on the guitar is really good too, man. This whole band's good. Cheers, VC. Roll over. A song about his dog. <laughs> I love this song. Oh, hell yeah. Then I went with uh, some Leprosy from Death. Man, this is a great record. I love all the Death records. They're so good. They were great. My very favorite albums of all time, early 70s. So freaking killer. Man, one of my top. Before Kiss came out, this is my top three records of the early 70s. Fireball, Deep Purple, I love this album. My favorite album of 71, so good. Man, No One Came, it just blows me away in the mule. Every song in here is so good. Man. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, man. Check, if anyone like younger people don't know this record, check it out, man. This and in rock, so heavy. Yeah. Run over, run over. I freaking love John Garcia, everything he does. Softy Dog next, one of my favorite records from 89 to 90. So good. Lonesome Fool. Come along, little <laughs> man. My friend Sam used to play that, my friend Josh, who's in our band. And man, it's so good. Come along. Every song on this. She's hard, she comes easy, one of my favorites on here. Yeah, so good. Tim Salabim. <laughs> Cheers, BC. Alright, we get a drink for that one. Alright, I need more beer. <laughs> Thank you, Chris Brophy. 
and JC for getting me into this band. So killer. November Coming Fire from Sam Hain. This is so good. You know, I've, I've heard all the Sam Hain now, but this, this is Chris Brophy, you're right. This is their best, I think. I love them all, though. It's like Misfits, Danzig, Hybrid. So good. Great stuff, man. <laughs> love this. Speaking of John Garcia, I had to hear this one. <laughs> From Caius and the Circus Loose Town, the fourth and final studio record, so good. And of course, a cool cover. But this album kicks ass. Yeah, Caius. Houdini Dog. Almost ready for a beer. Yeah. Up next, this is a great one. The four songs are kick ass, man. This is uh, Rise of the Mutants and Taylor. Great stuff here, man. Killer metal from the mid 80s. So good. <laughs> Go to wash this. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. So that's what I've heard today. And now I got the stack of what I got coming up. So, yeah, I'm going to have a good one today. Cheers, you see. I almost know this. I need a beer. Related to uh, John Garcia in a way, the Fu Manchu was in search of, love Fu Manchu, another great band, the stoner metal, rock, Caius, Hermanos, Fu Manchu, there's a bunch of them, clutches in there, but they're kind of a hybrid, still killer. Uh, they cry like a cackling me. Freaking love John Garcia, man. All right, I need a beer. All right, got me a little one. <laughs> so cheers, you see. Love you guys. Up next, another stoner metal band that I love. This is uh, The Wolf Bites Back, Orange Goblin. Great band here. I love Orange Goblin. My buddy Angel sent me uh, another record of them. So killer. Love them. For Chris Rankin, I'm gonna play this today. Chris Rankin, one of the best channels in BC. He seriously, he was just talking about that he had a, he's like heard over a thousand new albums this year. I'm not even close to that. I'm lucky if I've heard a hundred. It's just amazing. He's all over the metal, man. He's so good. Check out Chris Rankin, Music Crush. And I'm here's some onslaught in honor of him today. Four spring records. One of his favorite bands, that's why. Killer shit here, man. Love it. Right. Up next, one of my favorite power pop bands of all time. This album is so good. Not very well known in this album. If you like any of the power pop stuff, like the heavier stuff with power pop, check this out. New Adventures. They are so good. They even do a Beatles cover of uh, You Can't Do That. Real heavy killer. 
These guys kick ass, man. There they are. The Frio. Badass shit, man. Love this. Doesn't he kind of look like Kevin Bacon? <laughs> it's like Red from Footloose. <laughs> this is so, so killer, though. That's, they're really good. That's a singer. Singer guitarist. He's really good. And a little new metal, which I'm not into so much, but I, I always give it a chance. But this is a pretty good band here. Enemies of Reality by Nevermore. Pretty cool stuff, man. I love that cover, too. Brother Bjork. All right, cheers, we see. Here's a really good EP. This might have been the only album they ever did. EP. Uh, this have a good set back when it was out back in the 80s. I long, I always liked it a lot. Without a beat. Really cool album. It's like five songs. Yeah. Killer just straight up metal. Leaning towards my uh, It's a little heavier. Metal. Good stuff, man. Another great EP. Freaking Raging Slab. They are so killer, man. Love Raging Slab. Yeah. I mean, I'd be party with these guys, but <laughs> man. That, that's like me and my friends back in the late 80s. <laughs> Hell yeah. Love it. This music is just killer. Just badass. Blues metal. Heavy. Killer. Stop the foot and go. Alright, cheers, Nissan! Uh, beer's good today. It's always good though, it's kind of a cake. <laughs> it makes a difference, I'm telling you. It's hard for me to drink cans or bottles anymore because I'm used to my cake. <laughs> You know, it's just, oh man, is this okay? One of my favorites, uh, this song. I won't say what it's about, but it's <laughs> it's got some very um, explicit lyrics if you really listen. Not like swearing, but uh, I love this song. The group of these guys, man. Hermano. Here's a good one. Great. This is a killer record, man. So good. Killer metal. This one's bordering on the glam, the metal, like Brent, like that uh, edge. It's a little heavier. Really good shit. I know my buddy Ron Haggerty is his favorite album with us, man. That's a good one. Metal Heart by Accept. Love this record. I love Accept. They're so good. My favorite will always be Walls of All, Rest of the Wild, Rest of the Wild, and Nets. Those are like my three. But I love all of Accept stuff. They're so good. Yeah. Great one, man. I even love a bunch of bit and twice shy. Look, 
you know, they were so good. And Jack Russell was one of the greatest singers in, in uh, that metal era. So good, man. Love it. And then I'm gonna go, uh, go with this one next. Iron Maiden, Brave New World. Their comeback album, and they all got back together, along with Yana Garrett, of course. So good. All Maiden is killer. This is a great record. Yeah. The Wicker Man kicks my ass, man. Love it. This whole album is killer, though. Love it. I love how he changes his vocals here coming up. It's like he's singing all of them, and then he goes and drops it out, man. I love it when bands do that. They aren't just one note. Uh, Freaking Hermano! Yeah! I'll be the baddest motherfucker 